This interview with explosive striker Asaki Kato was recorded for MMA Mania on November 11, 2015. Kato will be in the main event of Bellator 146 facing Dutch striker Melvin Manouf. It will take place on November 20, 2015 at the Windstar World Casino in Thackerville, Oklahoma. Without further ado, here's my interview with Hisaki Kato on behalf of MMA Mania. Hisaki? Yes. Steve? Yes, I'm here. Okay, you're all set. All right, Hisaki Kato, it's Steve Juin from MMA Mania, and it's good to talk to you again. Thank you for being here today. Oh, sure, no problem. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's my pleasure. In fact, we had a great conversation last time right after you got that big <laughs> Superman bunch knockout. So still got to be riding the buzz off of that all this time later. Mm-hmm. Moved you right up to the main event of this next card. How are you feeling about facing Melvin Manouf? Uh, oh, I had a good uh, camp, so uh, I'm really confident this time too. And uh, he's, a, he's a really tough and famous fighter, so it's an exciting fight for me too. So, uh, yes, I'm really happy with uh, with that and this opportunity to fight with him. And as you said, he is a very famous fighter. He's well known for his striking power. I think fans are expecting a a very explosive and dynamic fight. Oh, yes, yes. It's probably what is going to to happen. He's really quick. Uh, I really like the striking game too. So, yeah, I think it will be like really, it will be like really explosive, yes. Now, what's been your biggest change in the training camp between the fight with Joe Schilling and this fight with Manouf? Uh, basically, nothing. You know, I, I don't really prepare differently for each fight, every fight. But you know, uh, of course, I I I look I look the video about my opponent and what he's capable of. Uh, but basically, just about me and about to be in the best shape for for the fight. You know, so. Uh, uh, I just try to to improve my cardio, my techniques, my ground game, my striking, everything, you know. So, so no big really changement. I've been doing the same camp in, in Paris too this time, so, you know, it's, it's kind of the same thing. Let me put a different spin on it then. What would you say has improved the most? What what area have you gained the most in between then and now? Uh, actually, um, we've been doing a lot of things, and... I'm really confident with my striking and my my ground game improved a lot too because uh, being in France, like compared to Japan, is is good for me because I have a lot of sparring partners bigger and you know like more explosive. So uh, well, I don't know. I think I've improved both of both of the part of the game, like the striking part and uh, the grappling part. Well, that'll be beneficial to you for many fights going forward. But with Manouf in particular, I don't know if the ground game will come up so much. Uh, yeah, well, you, you never know 100%. But yes, of course, I, yeah, of course, I, I think it will be a striking, striking game. But you never know. You know, there is videos about him, like he tries to, to, to put his opponent to the ground, to, to do the ground and turn after that. So you never know. So, you know, you, you have to prepare all the different uh, a lot of different strategies. So, yeah, of course, even if I think it will be like more uh, striking fights, uh, I can't be hurt to sure. So I have to prepare. I have to be prepared for everything. Absolutely, you always want to be prepared for every aspect of mixed martial arts. And yeah. I wonder, with you both having a common opponent in Joe Schilling, you beat Schilling, he lost to Schilling. Any thoughts on that dynamic of having a common opponent? Mm, yeah, well, every fighter is different, and every fight is different, and even if you fight with the same opponent, you can have a different fight, so for me, it doesn't mean nothing, so, uh, yeah, of course, uh, um, maybe for the psychological part, uh, uh, um, it's, it's easier for me than for him, um, I don't know, but, you know, you never know, it's me. I'm really not, like, chilling too, and I don't have the same skills, so it's totally different. I agree. Now, do you think this is the time when Manouf might be ripe for the picking, coming off a loss and a loss that was eventually overturned to a no contest, but they was originally lost? It, it seems like Manouf might be on a little bit of a downslide right now. Yes, he's uh, older than me, but, you know, he's really explosive. He's been a uh, top athlete for several years, and he, 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 he has good genes. And his last fight, was uh, like half a year before, so 
you know, with a good, good team, good condition, he he still can be a really tough fighter. So you know, I'm, I'm, I really think he's going to be ready. Oh, yeah. I'm sure we will see a completely different maneuver than we saw against Alexander Shlomenko. But speaking of which, it seems like there's a line of succession right now between current and former champions. And the door is pretty much open at this point with uh, common opponents and big wins for you to move up to a title shot against Rafael Cavallo. Would you like that after this fight or do you think that's a few fights away? Oh, uh, well, I, I don't know. Sometimes it can be quick, you know, it depends how I'm going to do with, uh, Melvin Manoff. Uh, in case of, uh, if I win this fight, uh, yes, I think I will be in good position to, to, to ask for, for, uh, for, for, um, a title match, you know. So, uh, of course I, I want to, you know, to focus on my fight with Melvin Manoff first, but, in case if I win, yes, of course, it would be a good opportunity to have a title match, you know, uh, it could be an interesting fight. I think it would be a great fight, and, uh, you know, if you get a big explosive win like the one you had in June, I think that's writing on the wall, you know, fans would love to see you do that against Tafiel Cavallo as well. <laughs> yeah, it could be a good matchup, so, yeah, I, I prefer to focus, I have, you know, a big fight with Melvin Manoff, a top fighter, coming soon, so, you know, I... Uh, Maybe I will speak again, but after the fight, for for now, I just want to focus. Stay focused on Melvin Manouf because he's very dangerous, and he's got an interesting mixture of fighting backgrounds between MMA and kickboxing. So do you think that presents a stylistic challenge, or do you feel like that won't make a difference? Well, the difference is that he's a long-time veteran. He's been fighting for so many years, so he, he really knows how to... To, to, to fight in, in cage on the ring, so he's really complete. Uh, maybe no style differences, you know, he, he's been training in, uh, Netherlands, in Europe, and me too, so no, it's not like the big style difference, but it's just the big difference with me because he's a, a long time, you know, a really famous and long time veteran fighter, so. That's very true. But it does seem to be an interesting coincidence, at least to me, that they seem to keep matching you up against guys who have a kickboxing background as well as MMA, because it's been both Schilling and Manouf now that have that kickboxing record. Well, yeah, I guess uh, even for people watching on their TV, it's easier to understand uh, a striking fight than like some really fancy movement on the ground, so... Uh... You know, usually if you want a good matchup, you prefer having guys, you're sure they're going to, to punch each other to the face. <laughs> yeah, that is what fans like to see the most. And you've certainly delivered that in all of your fights that you've won. It's been a TKO or a knockout. So you, yeah. mentioned, you mentioned the improving ground game. And I wonder if at this point if people are sleeping on that because of the fact that you've gotten so many knockouts. Yeah, but um my... I've been training in, in Japan uh, for for like five, six years. And in my team, we have some really, really skilled fighters like Hatsu Hiyoki. He's one of the best guys uh, for in the grappling game. And, you know, we, we have a lot of different fighters, like really good jiu-jitsu guys. So, uh, no, I, I've been working my ground game for a long time. It's just like during the fight, yeah, my first option because I'm from karate is to to use the, the striking part, but I'm confident with my grappling and you know a ground game too. Yeah, and you're right, Hatsu Hiyoki. If there's anybody you can learn the ground game from, it's definitely him. He's one of the top guys out there. Yeah, sure. It seems like you're very well prepared for Melba Manouf and everything's going according to plan, at least as of right now. So, how about your personal life? How's things been going in that area? Oh, uh, well, I, I'm, my personal life is really stable. Uh, just I've been uh, away from my family for now like eight weeks for, for the camp because everybody is in Japan and I'm turning in France. So, uh, but yes, everything is is going good. Well, of course, I will be really happy to, <laughs> to go back to Japan and see my family after the fight. Are you able to keep up with them, like Skype video conferencing, stuff like that while you're in training camp? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, yeah, I have a lot of, yeah, of course, every, every day. I know it can be very stressful being away from family and loved ones while you're getting ready for a fight. I'm sure they feel it too, but it's it's the sacrifices that you have to make to win fights. 
Yes, yes, yeah, and uh, I understand that, and you know, my family understand that too. So that's why you know uh, my private life is really stable. So it's it's not a, you know like some bad you know, energy for me. It's just a, an extra motivation to the good. Motivation, yeah, to do good for your family, to provide for them. That's always good for a fighter to have. And what time are you touching down in the United States for the fight? When will you get here? Uh, I will arrive in the U.S. this uh, this weekend, one week before, for you know, for the jet lag. So you'll be well adjusted and well motivated for the fight on Friday night. And I assume you're probably pretty close to weight at this point, with only a week to go. Yeah, yeah, I have no no problem with my weight. I, um, yeah, I've been prepared well, so everything is going good. My my weight is is good too. It's what I was uh, uh, targeting from the beginning. So yes, uh, I'll be ready. We'll all be ready for it too. It's the main event of Bellator 146 on Spike TV from the Windstar World Casino in Thackville, Oklahoma. And before I let you go today, Saki Kato, I want to know, do you have anything you'd like to plug, sponsors you'd like to mention, teammates you'd like to thank, social media you'd like to plug, anything you want to get out there, I want to give you the floor. Yeah, sure. I have a, a new sponsor now, so I'd like to sponsor Venom for the confidence they, they're putting on me and uh, my training uh, partners in Japan, Team Alive, and in France, Team EDF. And they will be with me uh, during the fight as cornerman, and uh, all that's it. All right, and people can follow you on social media too at Hisaki Alive, right? Yes, yes, yeah. All right, well, that's the way to keep up on everything going on for Bellator 146, and I want to say thank you again for the time. It's always a pleasure to chat with you, and I hope you have a great performance against Melvin Manouf. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right.